No face, no name, just a single bone, and a mystery that may now finally be solved. There's quite literally no leads. These skeletal remains just arrived here at Othram, a first of its kind lab located just outside Houston. Its mission, to harness the power of the biggest DNA sequencer on Earth to help solve murders, rapes, and other violent crimes. We call this a revolution in cold case resolution. This is certainly, in my opinion, the most exciting that's happened in the last 30 years. Television cameras have never captured this before. Scientists starting the process of releasing hidden DNA from a small piece of that bone. Five Investigates was invited in by Othram's founder, David Middleman, for a first-hand look on the front lines of forensic genetic genealogy. Sometimes it's a bone fragment. Other times it's evidence from police. The DNA from a crime scene, sexual assault kit, a cigarette butt, a piece of stained fabric, preserved material from autopsy slides. When you think about what happens in this room, what goes through your mind? I think this is where the magic happens. The magic unlocking that DNA and releasing close to a million markers, identifiers unique to that person. The markers are clues they compare to DNA databases, but now they don't need an exact match. Even a very distant relative can provide a crucial investigative lead. You get any matches up to sixth cousin, fifth cousin, fourth cousin, and we're able to reconstruct the family tree and give back to law enforcement a possible identity for the victim or perpetrator of that crime. David and his wife, Dr. Kristen Middleman, and their team at Othram have already seen results with cases here in Massachusetts and across the country. These are faces of people whose remains were recently identified, including a case that haunted the Commonwealth for decades, the Lady of the Dunes. The victim's hands were missing, presumably removed by her killer so she could not be identified through fingerprints. The FBI asked Othram to join the case after other labs weren't able to extract DNA from the bones found in Provincetown in 1974, which had been treated with formaldehyde. Formaldehyde causes cross-links in DNA, so being able to break that and still read that sequence of DNA is very, very difficult. Othram's profile helped investigators find a close relative, leading them to identify Ruth Marie Terry of Tennessee as the Lady of the Dunes. Othram also helped solve another case that baffled Massachusetts detectives for decades to identify the woman known only as the Granby girl, 28-year-old Patricia Ann Tucker. When you find out a case has been solved, what is that like for you? Um, it's, it's really exciting and it's, uh, it's truly validating. When this is done at scale, it benefits society at large. That's when it becomes a deterrent for crime. That's when you start to see real improvement in society as a whole. Identifying remains is the first step. Now investigators are working to determine who killed these women. We're trying to not only get answers for law enforcement, but also enable answers for families um, that, that have been waiting, you know, uh, far too long. Do you believe there will be more Massachusetts cases solved here? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. And your message to perpetrators out there who have not yet been caught? It's a matter of time.